everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Penelope Pop, also known as Winnie Wong. That is actually my real name. A lot of my videos are centered around living with the things that you need and curating your lifestyle. That's what we're all about here. And we have some fun videos here and there. But today, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of my work from home desk. Now, because it's been a year of working at home, I have upgraded my setup. The last time I did the video was like a couple of months ago, but because I wanted to change things up a little bit more to make myself more comfortable, I am sitting for a long period of time. I'm also looking at the computer for a long period of time. So I just want to make sure ergonomically it is working out. I'm going to let you know what I have purchased. So maybe if you do want that as well, you can purchase it in the links down below. Thank you very much. Let's start this walkthrough. Okay, so I'm going to go through whatever is on top of my desk and whatever is inside after. Now this is upgraded. This looks a little actually pretty different from what I'd had a couple of months ago. So first of all, I have now a Wacom tablet. I have kind of wanted a Cintiq Pro, but it's always been something that I thought about for a long time. But I do like how you get to work on it directly, whether you're on Photoshop or Illustrator, and it has made things a lot better for me. A Cintiq is actually quite a big investment, so it took me a long, long time to actually want to purchase one. Now I have a Wacom Cintiq Pro 16 inch, and what's great is that you can just drag and drop the application from this desktop onto here. There are two main plugs over here and then it comes with a pen. So it's very easy to work around. Now, because I have a Cintiq Pro, this is the Mac wireless keyboard. And this is really pretty much to aid me for the Wacom Cintiq when I am entering the shortcuts during design. Cause like if I wanna move around, it is best that I am able to use the shortcut key so that I can navigate around the design easily. It has made design a lot nicer. Now I do have an iPad, which I'm going to talk about later, but um, the only thing I don't like is how there's so many wires. You know me, I just, I would love to live in a land of wireless devices, which I hope we can get to eventually in the future, but that is not going to happen. So um, I make sure I tie my cords and then um, I hide it when I don't use it. Um, so here at the center of the the database what is it this little spaceship that i have basically is my laptop now it is now elevated this is just something to remind me that i need to look up and i need you know sit up it is a struggle at times i like this because it's super sturdy and i got this on lazada and you can just move it around there's some where it's just like you have four modes of elevation this one is really customized to how you want it to elevate and tilt there are two functions you can make it go high and then you can also tilt it to the way you want it so i can even tilt it out this way if i want to then this is just my mac macbook pro this is the largest size, I believe. So this extension is the hyperdrive, which is great because there are two USB ports. You can have this HDMI plug. You can also have a SD card reader. There are so many different things. And also it looks sleek. It matches the MacBook and you can just take it out if you don't need it. Usually I do leave it on at this time because there are just so many things that I need to plug into this Mac. Yeah, so I have a keyboard extension just because this is elevated now. I don't want to type like this. I don't want to reach that far. So type in like this and then my mouse. Okay, next we have my iPad. Now you're like, Winnie, why do you have three different monitors? So this one is for design. This one is for regular work. And then this one, sometimes I like to watch things on the side. So I put this, sometimes if I watch something here on Netflix, it does interfere. So I put it here. And then of course I have the YouTube. What, what is this? This is Wongcat's world? What? Why is this playing? Please subscribe to Wongcat's world. This is an iPad. This is the iPad Pro. And I got the smallest gigabyte. Usually I use Adobe Fresco to draw on this and then I just transfer it on to Photoshop or Illustrator to kind of render the designs. I find that I am better at rendering than actually sketching. So that's why I can't really sketch to perfection. I do have an iPad pen and it's great to attach it. Now I changed my iPad stand. Um, the original one was just something I plopped on, but this one is great because this one's from Stance. And what I like about it is that it has a very heavy base, which 
is very reliable because it won't fall. And then it has an attachment that is very easy to move around and it won't like destroy your iPad. And you can tilt it, very flexible, and you can rotate it, also very flexible. If I want to bring it around, I use my magic keyboard. So this one is an attachment that I have and we will get into that in a little bit. Okay, so for my non-tech items that are on my desk, include my Everyday Slims planner. Now this is a six month undated planner created by The Everyday. I chose a carbon color, it's very slim and it only has six months. Cause sometimes when you like carry around planners and like you don't want the other pages to get ruined, this a six month one is actually nice so that when you are done with it, you can just get a new another six months and it will be new. So that's why I like the six month one. It's thin, it's light, it's easy to carry. Um, we have undated features where you can really write whatever you want. It is structured but custom to how you want to organize your life. And then over here, I have Xiaomi Pen. It's very affordable, easy to use, it's light. Um, the ink rollout is very superb. Next of my toolkits. So this is my pencil holder. This one, marble jar, whatever it is, is um from philux this desk is actually from philux but i have purchased a couple of things just because i find myself needing to do more things now with shipping signing creating labels etc or writing cards so i have a sharpie family now these are all purchased on lazada i can share the link and um, i have three sharpie push pens and then i have sharpie oil based pen then i have my ipad pen these ones are great. These ones I actually purchased on Amazon and you can get it delivered here for international shipping. This brand is called Slice and they come with really nicely made um, cutters. Why do you ask that I have cutters? Well, for opening packages, for opening different boxes. This one is great for boxes. These are the automatic versions. These are, and then their cutters are ceramic based. I don't, I forgot what material it is, but it's just really nice. Um, it doesn't seem as dangerous. It's a little bit round and um, it automatically retracts when you're done using it. These are the scissors I have. These ones are for bigger packages. This is for finer envelopes and pieces of paper. And then I have a fountain pen. So this fountain pen I have had, this is from Milani. Okay, then over here I have an alcohol spray. This one I love. This one is really nice because the spray nozzle is very fine so it has a nice mist effect and also it sprays for a really long time. So look, I know I bet you can't even see it but it's fine. And then over here I have two AirPods. This one was gifted to me by Patrick. I believe this was also gifted to me by Patrick. And then I just have really cute covers for it. My two favorite characters, Totoro and Gudetama. I just love it. It's so cute. It's made well. I purchased all this on Lazada and it protects my AirPods really nice. So I have a ring light, which is from Momax. What I love about it is you just attach it to a USB plug. You don't need to attach it to a power source and you can just switch it on and you can, uh, there's so many different settings for this ring light. You can even go for a colored option. Wow. I don't know when you would use this, but it's super cool. So there are different colored options. Yeah, look at all these modes, fancy. You can just attach your phone over here and um, you are TikTok ready. But this is also great for Zoom meetings or Google Meets and um, very, very easy to use. So over here, we have drawer number one. Now I've actually made some changes where I moved a lot of my tech stuff into my tech cabinet, which I can show you how I organized that. But first, over here, I actually have another everyday planner. This is the classic carbon edition. As you can see, everything in here is black. Um, I have a laptop sleeve in here and I also have my magic keyboard. This is actually what I use if I need to bring my stuff out. And the magic keyboard is from Apple. The laptop sleeve was gifted to me. Only have this memory card base from Pelican. Very nice, sturdy, cute. I actually don't have this most of the time. It's with Shara, but this is what we for today. And then over here I have my hard drives. These are actually 
old files. I have labeled them. I have photos and videos. I have two backup versions for my photos. Um, these are all photos that I've collected in the past in middle school. Now, you know, everything is on the phone. But back then we had to transfer it from a camera to the computer. And I also have videos that I have kept and I just like to keep it here because sometimes it's nice to go back a little bit. I want to show the other part of the desk. And here we have a notebook that has a bunch of different types of paper. Then here I have some paper that I use, you know, for memorabilia. I just place it here. If ever I have a new card or note card from somebody, I, I just take this and then I put it into my folder. If you want to watch how I organize my memorabilia, I have that in a video. Then here I have personal note cards that I customize. And usually I just print out a very simple Winnie Wong and I give this out for Christmas, I give this out, and I really appreciate handwritten notes. So that's why I have a couple of these, just because it is really nice to be able to receive notes now that everything is digital. Then I, of course, this, ooh, I still have this wax seal that I use. Sometimes if I want to be fancy, then this is my Lamy refillables. But um, this wax seal, I have had this for a really long time. If you look at my first work desk situation, I've had this wax. Then here, I've actually purchased this. I didn't know the importance of Pantone guides, but it's really important to have a business. You want to make sure your printing is correct. I know I've always been hesitant because I was like, you can access all of that on the computer. But sometimes having a printed version is very crucial when you want to make sure that's the exact color you want to have printed so that um, your suppliers can be as accurate as possible. I have this theft stamp which I use when I receive packages. I can just cross out address it, my address and my name, and it's very useful. It comes with these two refillable inks. I got this on Lazada. Yeah, I have this right now. Maybe I can show you. So basically, I can just cross it out, and it, ooh, nice ink. It just like crosses all the information out and then you can just dispose your items properly. I try to keep it as organized as possible and I try to maintain this system, but sometimes it is very difficult, but I do think I am very diligent when it comes to organizing my work desk. Okay, so that wraps up the walkthrough of my desk. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you have any questions about the things that I've purchased, you can also leave in the comment section down below. All of the different items that I have talked about are gonna be listed here on the description down below. Other than that, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe to Penelope Pop and see ya.